Greens family, this is Bomani Taimba and our beautiful Africa for Africans tour group, yeah. May 2018. And we're live at Revolutionary Camp here at Micklin Hotel in Accra, Ghana. I'm with my tour assistant, wonderful sister, Yaa Jassy Peppy Park. This family, so um, it's an honor to be back in Ghana. It's been three years too long. And as soon as we hit Ghana, we hit the ground running, literally and figuratively. And it's been such a whirlwind tour. I'm using those words, Marcus Garvey. And so a lot of us feel like we've been here. We know we've been here forever. But you know, we want to talk with some of the tour members to find out how they feel about being in Africa, Ghana in particular, and what's the energy oh. like. So Kelly. Oh boy. All right. We're awake. So you may see big sandbags under my eyes. We and me and one of the sisters actually stayed up to watch our first Mother Leia sunrise, which finally came up at 6 a.m. <laughs> so that gives what one hour sleep. So the experience on just being here totally life changing, as I had been told prior to me even coming here. They say it's going to change your life. And when I tell you I'm going back to Atlanta, not the same person. Um, I have already, my spirit has already chosen motherland, mother uh, Ghana and Accra to be uh, a part of the rest of my life's journey in some kind of way. And also after being here, I can say the biggest thing for me is I have now a sense of protecting this place. So to the point where, hey, don't mess with Mother Africa. <laughs> Don't taint her. Leave the nonsense out of her because the people, like Brother Roz, yo, they're worth preserving because they. this is like Eden and they are like the last, they're so pure souls here. I'm so full on the whole trip, I could just keep talking and talking and talking. But uh, I'm already ready to buy me some land. Come on back. Get some business going. We on some band and music. Help Brother Roz and work on the music industry here. It's just the sky is the limit on the potential that um, that we in America, us African Americans, can bring home and work towards that Wakanda because it is possible. Awesome. Hey. Okay. So we have a lot of feedback, as you can tell. But what we want you to do in the meantime yes, yes, is start yes. visiting Africa for the Africans .org and start putting your deposit down so you can come on the next yes. journey of a lifetime. But I would be remiss if I didn't say yes. You know, I, I want to say he's the youngest, but, but we have our junior assistant. But this young man here, from the moment he decided he was going to Ghana, we know that there was some transformation going on. And so we want uh, Jordan to just tell us what's his experience so far, being in the motherland for the first time in Ghana particular. Talk about some of the things that you're feeling internally and what you want people who are watching to feel so they can come and experience that for themselves. Um, uh, I've never felt this comfortable in my life. Um, we're in the West. Um, there's all these forces that are seeking to make us dislike ourselves, uh, not trust ourselves, not want to be around our people. Um, and uh, being here and not having all of those, or as many of those negative influences uh, touching us all the time um, gives us a sense of like weightlessness and freedom yes. that is, I, you have to experience it to yeah. really understand it. Um, I'm really grateful to be here, um, and I'm grateful that uh, to all the people who work really hard to preserve Africa for us to be able to come yes, back here. Yes, um, yes, brother. Awesome. Hey. And, and one of the things that we do daily on the bus, you know, we do morning affirmations. You know, you have to affirm it, speak it into being, and we have none other than hey. my sister Sass. Sass. Lady Sass, yeah. Sass who you've seen on many of these videos. And Sass has been here so many times. She actually lives there. She's also a yeah. So Sass, quickly, tell them what keeps you coming back. What keeps me coming back is brothers like this one. It's just here, yeah. it's here, this one. This is what keeps me coming back. <laughs> yeah. My future yeah, keeps me yeah. coming back. I'm honored to, every time I'm coming home, yeah, to meet you, to connect with you. I have to find you so I can veil myself. So those who are interested in coming home to Ghana, my assignment has been with Brother Bomani, Little Bomani, mm -hmm. the Bomani legacy, Africa for the Africans at home and abroad. And you know, Pap, it's, uh, it's really the spirit of the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey, you know, the love for the red, black, and the green, and 
you know, it's 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 the divine order. It's the and you know we're it's all divine order. we're all getting very emotional because we're reliving yeah. some of the moments that we've experienced so far, and I keep yeah. telling the tour members just come with an open mind because the journey is about to get more. Let me use the word interesting, you know, like where you're going to feel that serious spiritual connection and understand all of these things that our ancestors done. Why we owe it to ourselves. We have a responsibility yes, to yes, protect yes, and to preserve yes, yes, and to yes, keep pushing. Yeah. You know, we have to do it in the name of black. So as we are closing out this video, we definitely want to bring it back to Brother Bamani who has taken so many of us over. And Bamani is going to tell us what we can expect for the rest of the journey. Yes, family. Enjoy the journey of a lifetime. We'll continue to link you on all of the actions and the connections across our Ghana. We are on our way to the Brown Hapo region. Yes. The center of the country, the center of the future of what we're looking to do in Ghana and build our own enterprise. So family, visit our website, africaforafricans.org and we'll keep you posted on everything going on in the journey of a lifetime. Peace and we'll see you in the